can sing and dance and we don't need pants, see we're just like you. With our regular jobs, just with low going off, see we're just like you. Yes, we graduate from our... I got ahead of my class! But if it's a sobriety... I ran out of breath! There's no strings attached and there's no head of mine. We're just like you! Car won't start again. Your next car should be a tow truck. Sometimes we get so attached to things that it becomes hard to move on. Things like old cars, bad relationships, my pet snake who loved to sleep in the driveway. <laughs> oh, Pavanetti. <laughs> oh, you know, I promised myself I wasn't gonna do this. It just, it just needs a minute. It's probably flooded. <laughs> flooded with suckiness. Jack, Jack, hold up. I need to talk to you. I just got a call from your agent about that movie you were cast in. Oh, great, isn't it? I've been wanting to branch out for a while. You know, try something a little different so I don't get typecast. Yeah, that's fine, but I just don't think it's a good idea for you to be playing a psychotic children's television show host who entertains kids by day and kills hookers by night. Well, I guess we'll just agree to disagree. Jack, they just want to exploit your Sweet Knuckle Junction character. <laughs> oh, Sweet Knuckle Junction? I play an engineer! The character on Helping Hand Station is a conductor. Junction Jack is completely different from Locomotive Louie. I mean, come on! It'd be bad for the show, and contractually, I have the last word. So I'm not going to let you do it. I can make Locomotive Louie a completely unique character. Your window's open. Oh. You just think I can't play a convincing psycho killer. Well, I can! You'll see. Sorry. Hey, I can be a psycho killer. I can be a psycho killer. I can't believe the car's not working. And on the day when we got all this extra dry ice. Okay. Hey, Block. Hey. Do you know anything about cars? Yeah, sure. I know that uh, yours is older than I am, and uh, it's leaking more fluids, Block. <laughs> <laughs> can you give us a lift? Yeah, uh, sure. I just have to make one quick stop first, Blah. Great. Perfect. <clears throat> <laughs> okay, let's go, Black. I don't know, listen, I loved what you did, but Allison at the network just hated your trust song, so she's making me fire you. What? I put my heart and soul into that song. I know, I know when it shows. It sh Please, and I quote your song. May my bones be crushed and moldy dust. If you can't trust, you can't trust, you can't trust. Uh, ask me when I say that I loved your song. Now, your office has been cleaned out, boxes are already in your car, so off you go. This sucks. What was that about? Oh, uh, nothing. Writer of the Trust song just quit. Oh, really? Oh, I love that song. Hey, we all did. Oh. Maggie, you can tell your lawyer to stick it in his briefcase, all right? I am not signing the divorce papers until I get the porcelain thimble collection. I don't care whose great-grandmother smuggled them out of Poland or how. That is what I want. <laughs> So apparently, poor Bly has been visiting his wife's grave every day for like six years. Well, in all fairness, it's not like she can go to his place. My Uncle Dan was a romantic like this. He used to visit the spot where my aunt was buried all the time. That's how the FBI finally found the body. Hey, you know, we should take Bly out to meet some hot babe. Or at least one that's room temperature, right? No, oh, come on. You're wasting your time. Trust me. That sentimental sap's never going to want to be with another woman. Well, it couldn't hurt to try. Yes, it could. Hey, we should take him to Digits. <laughs> yeah. yeah! The cheesy phone bar? That's just a meat market to pick up someone for a one-night stand. Mm. So? I volunteer at a senior center, and they have a silver singles night. Maybe we should take him there. Oh, fine. Just get him laid. Yeah.
Look, boys, I know your hearts are in the right place, but I really don't want to be here, Blah. Oh, come on, Blah. How can you not love this place? All you gotta do is scoop out a hottie and then pick up the phone and call the number of their booth. Can I call a cab on this thing? No. Operator. Operator. Man, how old are you? Give me that. Yeah. See? Get it, Timmy. Hmm. Hey, baby, you see something you like? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think I can help you out with that. <laughs> oh, OK, you sit tight. You give that back when you're done. You know what? You can use it all. <laughs> all right. Between the between the the vampire and the bunny rabbit. Hey, girls. Hello. I can see you. See, boys. That's so easy to meet women, huh? Oh, come on. Sure it is. You just got to start off by lowering your standards a little bit. That's all. Scratch them, gals. Would you check out what's available at table nine? Go now, please. Oh, fine. Then just sit there. But I ain't too proud. Neither am I, my brother. <laughs> Sister, sister! The men from table four are coming over. No, we are. No, we're coming over there. No, it's totally cool. It'll be cool. It'll be fun. Come on. Hey, don't, don't you leave. Oh, let's go. Okay, let's go. You watch how it's done. Smooth black. Can I buy you a drink? Maggie the Montague. How are you, Black? I'm fine, Freddy. How are you? Well, 110 over 80 and the plumbing still works. I can't complain. <laughs> You're not here with my ex, are you? No. No, Warren is not here. Two guys from work brought me here in order to find me a woman. Pretty pathetic, huh? Well, I think I got you beat. The two friends who dragged me here, they're from my Women With Needs support group. <laughs> now they're talking to a couple of losers. Oi. You got a pinball machine, a lava lamp, and a flash <laughs> bomb. I just got a great idea. Um, your friends don't know me, and my friends don't know you. So if we pretend like we're leaving together, we can both go home, Blah. <laughs> great idea. I can't stand this place. Blah, this joint is for losers. Who needs love, Blah? <laughs> that was amazing. Blah. Yeah. Kill just the guy I want to do to you, Bly. Listen, I really need to... Are you putting on makeup? Hmm? No, no. Well, sort of, because uh, I, I have an acne problem, which, you know, you can't see right now, but it flares up in times of stress. So what do you want? I need to tell you something personal. Let me stop you right there. Personal, not my area. Uh, you, but look, last night I slept with someone I really shouldn't have. Not my... Go on. I slept with Maggie, Warren's ex-wife. All right, how the hell did that happen? Oh, it's all Jimmy and Greg's fault, blah. They took me to this seedy phone bar, and, well, I hadn't been with anyone in six years, and Maggie was there, and one thing led to another, and the, the next thing I know, she's blying me. Mm, didn't need to hear that. <sighs> I feel just awful. Warren's a friend. 
this thing between you and Maggie, is it uh, serious? No, it's just a one-time thing. Well, technically, it's a four-time thing, but just one night. Four. I know, I'm a little rusty. But how do I tell Warren? You don't. You don't breathe a word of it to Warren, okay? Even if he asks you, you lie. You lie, you lie. Honesty's not gonna help anyone here, blah. Now go get ready for the trust song, which, by the way, I wrote. How you doing? I heard about your little escapade last night. <laughs> you been? Yes, I did, and somebody's been a very naughty little puppet, huh? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Uh, how did you hear? Uh, Greg and Jimmy told me they said that uh, last night at the bar you left with some mysterious redhead. Oh, yes! Mysterious redhead, mm -hmm. very mysterious, totally unknown. Uh, even I didn't know who she was because I was so damn drunk last night. <laughs> 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 Oh, hey, guys. So you did it. You finally found somebody to go down for the count, huh? <laughs> oh, yeah, I told you, Warren. You can't miss it, that place. Yes, yeah, so did you guys score, too? No, most. Oh. Well, good luck in the chat rooms, boys. <laughs> so, luck. Okay. come on. Give me some details, all right? No, I want to know how she was. Is she good? No, look, uh, Warren, please, you know I don't like to talk about such things. Oh, why not? Come on, it'll be fun, you know? Just two guys bonding. Mm. You all know, love. Uh, Happy and carefree and light-hearted. <laughs> Warren Bly, what's the matter? <laughs> oh, I can't keep up this charade of playful locker room banalities any longer. I'm, I'm so hopelessly and madly in love with Maggie. <laughs> uh, but Warren, look, thought you were happy to be rid of her. Uh, you know, I pretended I was, and, uh, well, of course you all believe me. I mean, how could you not with my acting skills? But I just... <laughs> oh, Fly. Fly. <laughs> I spent the entire night in front of a house with flowers. <laughs> but she never came home. She never came home, blah! I tell you, when I get a hold of the man that she has been sleeping with, I'm going to tear out his heart like she's torn out mine! Ah! 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 Ah, you bastard! Sleep with my wife, will ya? That's it, um, blah. <laughs> Let it out. Get rid of all those violent thoughts. <laughs> no, you know, blah. I'm only telling you this because you know what it's like to love someone so much. You know, pining as you have all these years for your dead wife. Yes. But at least you know where she is every night. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to call Maggie right now. <clears throat> hey. Hello? Blah? How come when I dialed Maggie's number, I got your phone? <coughs> so how are you doing that for? <laughs> well, don't you watch uh, 2020? Uh, these things give you cancer, blah. In fact, what sort of friend would I be if I let you use one of these death machines, blah? <coughs> hey! <coughs> Maggie? Oh, hi, Gil. Is Blah around? I spent the night at his place and... Uh -huh. What? What are you doing here? I came to get my cell phone back from Blah. Did it occur to you that coming to a set where you're married to one actor and just spent the night boffing another might cause some tension? Well, I ain't here for the tour. <sighs> Do not move. Why would he think Jack's stalking you? Because I told him he couldn't do this horror flick, and now he's totally trying to freak me out. And everywhere I turn, he's like hiding in the background. Hi, Daddy. Allison. Hey, hi. Look, I know Jack's a little strange, but he's not stalking you. When would he have the time with all his anger management classes and gun club meetings? Well, good luck with that. Um, I'm the same. <laughs> All right, here you go. 
It looks like it may oh. need a battery, okay? What but happened? Anyway, here, just take... Oh, oh. Geez, I'll get it. Oh, oh I my got back. it. Oh, oh. Gil, my fur is all matted. Have you seen the new fluffer? Oh. <gasps> Maggie? Warren? Oh, I knew you were a slut, but I thought you had some standards. And you, you will not make a monkey out of me! Blah! Get him off me! Get him off me! Warren, stop it! Don't mess with my wife, will you, Bender? Warren! Oh, I will now relieve you of the burden of consciousness! Uh, uh, come on, Gil! Warren, uh -oh. stop it. <sighs> there is nothing going on between Gil and me. I mean, look at him. Okay. Hello, person with feelings standing here. Despite what you think, I wouldn't just sleep with anything. <laughs> anything? Hey, you married an ape and slept with a vampire. <gasps> That's... What? Uh... <gasps> and by that, I mean you married an ape and... Period, that's it. You slept with Count Blah? No, 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 no. Look, I, I thought I'd just straighten that out. Yes, I slept with him. Uh. As you were. And I'll have you know, Blah is the greatest lover I've ever had. I, I am, I am. Talk about a G-spot. He found the whole damned alphabet. Ooh. All right, okay, I've heard enough. Let her finish. I am finished. And so are we. Oh, please, Maggie, how many times have we heard that before? You know the pattern, you'll run off with one of your new age gurus, and then he'll drop you like a hot potato when he meets a new hottie at Tybo. You are a pompous, self-centered monkey. You are a shallow, manipulative trollop. Oh! Well, why don't we all calm down before somebody says something untrue? Shut up, Bender. Fine. I'm serious this time. I want those divorce papers signed. But do you get the message? Or do I have to sleep with everyone here? My bed has reels. Jack, I know it's you. I'm not Jack. Yes, Jack, you are a very convincing psychopath, but the answer is still no, and it's gonna stay no unless you're really gonna kill me. Jack? This clown could have killed you. Who are you? The writer you fired because you didn't like my trust song. I didn't fire you. Gil said you quit. He said that? Is he in his office? And does it have a grounded outlet? Whew, that was close. Good thing I was stalking you. Jack, thank you. You saved my life. Does this mean I can be in the movie? No. Hey. Go away, Blah. <sighs> Look, Warren. I don't blame you for being mad. Mm. I've just been alone for so long. Mm. All right, I know that's no excuse. So I'm, I'm truly sorry, Blah. Oh, forget it. You know, Maggie has a way with men. Three ways, actually, and I'm sure a few new ones she's got on the drawing board. So you'll forgive me? Yeah, Lord knows I've forgiven myself for worse atrocities, and the truth is, Blah, you've been a better friend to me than Maggie's ever been a wife. Well. Still, it's just hard to let her walk away. You know, I mean, what am I gonna do without her? Oh, you'll be fine. Besides, if you're always retracing your footsteps, you'll never make new ones, Blah. It's a little odd coming from somebody whose idea of a hot date is to sob uncontrollably to a marble slab. Blah. I guess we both need to move on, huh? Yeah. Yeah, you're right. <clears throat> and I have some divorce papers to sign. And I think I need to go see my wife. 
<laughs> right after I return this to the hardware store, blah. Uh. Maldora, you remember my friends Jimmy and Greg from the other day? Hi. Hey, what's going on? She can only hear you. She can't answer questions. Duh. Now, when did you become such an expert on the rules? Blah, tell Jimmy that your dead wife can't answer him. Hey, boys. I'm sort of in the middle of something here, blah. Anyway, my darling, I want you to know that I will love you always. But, well, until I am with you again in heaven, I think, blah... I'm ready to find someone down here to help keep me warm. You know, I really learned something that day. Something besides the fact that Jimmy has to get a new car, because let me tell you, these little side trips to the cemetery are way too emotionally draining. I learned that, you know, even though it's scary to let go of the past, being able to do so is a true test of character. Finds me so Because nothing takes the place of you. Oh, oh I love you, Maggie. You disgust me. <laughs> That's my favorite. Ha, ha, ha.